Hi you two and welcome to your final topic lesson of the week. Our beaches are looking remarkable and today we're putting the last touch to our beach. So we've got our rocky area, our sea, our sand, we've got our beach hut and we've got our palm tree. So let's have a look at our beach checklist to find out what else we need in our beach. So sea, got, sand, got, palm tree, got, lighthouse. That is what we're going to be making today. We're not going to be doing any sandcastles, but I will tell you how to do that. We've got our beach hut. We're not going to be doing any showers, but I will tell you how to do that as well. And we didn't do a rock pool, but we did a rocky area. So I think we've more or less covered all of the things that we thought of when we explored beaches back was it on Monday? So a few days ago. So like I said, we're going to be doing a lighthouse today. And you will need a toilet roll tube. You will also need something to give you red and white stripes. So I've got some tapes just that I found in my Christmas box that I wrap people's presents with. So I've got some red tape and some silver tape. You could use red ribbon, white ribbon, if you've got any ribbon in a Christmas box. Um, you could use a red felt tip and you could just leave the other bit, the other stripe, the toilet roll tube color. You could use red paint, white paint if you've got paint. You could just use pencil crayons, you could use wax crayons. Just use any materials that you've got in your house to do it the best way that you can, okay? So, we need a toilet roll tube and something to give us our red and white stripes. Then, we need something to cover the top of our toilet roll tube with. In my recycling box, I just found, the weather's been beautiful, so I just found a burger box and I'm going to use the cardboard from that. And then, I needed something to give me a slightly bigger circle than the one on my toilet roll tube. So, I've just got my pepper... What's this called? If you know what this is called, please tell me. My pepper thing. Is it a pepper grinder? And I'm going to draw a circle on here, which is slightly bigger than my toilet roll tube. And then, if you're really lucky to have this in your house, I've got a battery-operated candle that will form the light at the top of my lighthouse. I don't think you'll be able to see it because it's quite bright in my kitchen today. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. So if you've got a battery operated light, you will go on the top of your lighthouse. Please, please, please only use battery operated lights. I don't want to see anything else on top of your lighthouse. And always ask an adult before taking anything battery operated, okay? So first thing you need to do then, is create stripes on your lighthouse. And like I said, I'm going to use my tape. So this is your opportunity now to go and get whatever material you're going to be using and start to create stripes on your lighthouse. So you might want to pause this video, go and get your materials and finish your lighthouse. I'm not going to do all of my lighthouse, I'm just gonna do a couple of stripes to show you. So if you'd like to pause this video and go and do the stripes on your lighthouse, and come back to find out what the next step is going to be. So I'm just putting the second stripe on my lighthouse if you've been away and come back. You will obviously do stripes all the way down so hopefully you've done that. So I now need to put a larger circle on top of my lighthouse and I'm going to do that with my spare cardboard, move my beach to one side, and my pepper shaker grinder thingy. And I'm going to draw a circle around that. I'm going to use a pen, because like I always say, it shows it better on camera, but you might want to use a pencil in case your circle goes wrong. So I'm going to draw around the bottom of it. You might need an adult to help you. You might want your adult to hold something and you draw the circle. You should end up with a circle on your box. 
we're then going to cut that out so again if you would like to go away and do that pause this video now ask an adult brother sister whoever at home is at home with you to help you cut this circle out it needs to be quite perfect otherwise it won't sit nicely on top of your lighthouse so just cutting that out like so let's bring my beach back in and it should sit if you have a look on top of my lighthouse and if you have a look it's just oh a little bit overlapping so that it stays on. I'm going to put my lighthouse in the sea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these two things around so you can see it. So here's my lighthouse. Yours should have stripes all the way down to the bottom. And all I'm going to do is simply put my battery operated candle on top. If you haven't got anything to put on top, again, that's absolutely fine. You might just want to colour the top in yellow. But I think a 3D homemade beach out of items that I've just found around my house is really remarkable and I cannot wait to see your 3D beaches and see how much effort you have put into them. I've really enjoyed making the beach this week and I hope you have too. So once you've done your lighthouse, because that was quite a quick activity, part, part three, part two of your lesson is to turn to your last page in your booklet you're going to write the title Lighthouse. You're going to draw a picture of a lighthouse. And I want you to find out why beaches have lighthouses. What is the purpose of a lighthouse? So I want you to research lighthouses and write me as many facts as you can in your booklet. Again, please hand your work in on the Google Classroom. Attach a photo of your finished 3D beach and also attach a photo of your booklet. I am really, really looking forward to seeing them. So, Friday. So have a super weekend and I can't wait to see you again next week for another remarkable week of home learning. So have fun and have a lovely weekend.